Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Joe Handy, the Android Authority App Guy, and we're nearing the end of August of 2016, which means it's time to round up the best Android apps that were released this month. If you want to check any of them out for yourself, you can find those download links in the video description below. BlackBerry Hub Plus Services is a basic framework for BlackBerry security services. It's also the software that's featured on the Priv and the DTEK50. There isn't much to the application when you first open it because most of what it does is kind of in the background. You'll also find links there to download the rest of the BlackBerry apps which all work with Hub Plus. Along with its primary security features, it also features Android for work compatibility and a news link to show you what's new in the world of BlackBerry. It's free to try out if you're interested. Google Duo came out to mixed reactions, but it's actually a pretty decent app. It allows you to make one-on-one -on -one video calls with other people. There's a feature called Knock Knock that allows you to see who's calling you and their video feed before you pick it up, which is kind of nice. Perhaps its best feature is how easy it is to use. You don't have to sign up for an account or anything special. All you have to do is verify your phone number once and you can immediately start making video calls with other people who use Duo. It's also completely free. Isotope is an educational application that shows you the periodic table of elements. It features 118 elements in total and most of them have corresponding images so you can see what the element looks like. Isotope is draped in material design which makes it look gorgeous and also makes it easier to use. You can pick up the application for free and pay for the pro version as an in-app purchase. The pro version comes with additional information about each element along with some extra themes. Microsoft Flow is a new application that aims to compete with the likes of IFTTT. For those who don't know, IFTTT and apps like it allow you to schedule tasks on your device that are carried out automatically. For instance, you can have your phone upload a photo to Dropbox automatically after you share it on Instagram. Flow is currently in public beta, which means you can try it out right now if you want to. Just beware that there are bugs and other issues that haven't been worked out just yet. IFTTT is still better, but a little competition never hurt anyone. OneView Calendar is a calendar application that does a lot of things a little bit differently. Instead of giving you a variety of ways to view your information, OneView, as the name implies, has only one view. It's in chronological order and you can open up the application to the current day. You can then zoom in or out to get more details if you need it and scroll up or down to navigate the various dates. It comes with some gesture controls and drag and drop functionality to create new events on your calendar. It's surprisingly fun to use and it's completely free with no in-app purchases. Opera Free VPN is exactly what the name suggests. It's a free VPN service that's run by SurfEasy, which is a subsidiary of Opera. Using the application is pretty simple. You essentially just open up the app, turn it on, pick your region, and then you go. It also includes a feature that blocks ad tracking, which can be switched on independently. Opera's VPN isn't a full feature VPN like some out there, but it's not a bad package considering that it's free to use. Prisma is a photo filter application that's fairly unique compared to other apps. It uses server-side neural networks to break down and rebuild a photograph from the ground up using whichever filter that you want. There are well over a dozen filters that mimic a variety of styles, which means that you should be able to find one that looks pretty awesome. It's completely free, and it has already spawned a host of clones that boast similar features. This one is completely free and worth checking out. Traffic Cam is a unique application that can help you catch sex traffickers. The idea for this one is that you use it whenever you stay in a hotel. You pop open the application, take four images of the hotel room, and then upload them to the database. According to the app's developers, many criminals use hotel rooms for photo shoots, and having a database can help authorities find out where these people are. It's a small thing, it's completely unobtrusive, and you really only need to take it with you when you're staying in a hotel. Keep it in mind and give it a shot, it is completely free to use. Fern the Himalayas is a tour application that's designed to help you learn more about the Himalayan mountains. It does this by placing you in control of Vern, who is a yeti. As you traverse the terrain, select parts will pop up and you can hear fun facts and various other trivia about the mountain. You can also slide, hang glide, fly, and move around in a variety of ways to get some excellent views of the mountains. We definitely hope that Google does more of these because they're pretty fun. Wallray is a new wallpaper application that specializes in high-res images. Unlike many where you can find anything from 2K to 480p resolution, most of the images in Wallray are massive, crisp, and they look great. There are a variety of categories including nature, people, food, objects, and technology. The only bummer is that there aren't any abstract style wallpapers which would have been awesome. Otherwise, it's free to download and check out, or you can buy the pro version as an in-app purchase for $1.99. And that about does it for this one, folks. If you want to keep watching, you can check out the best new Android games from August, which is linked up there on the screen and in the video description below. Don't forget that you can check 
out any of these applications for yourself and those download links are also in the video description below. Don't forget to keep it tuned to Android Authority because we are your source for all things Android. Thanks again for watching everybody and have a wonderful day.